Good day, grade 10s. In this revision lesson, we're going to be looking at the atoms. So let's do a couple of questions that are come out of exams. So it says, compared to the charge and mass of a proton, an electron has, it's got basically looking at the charges and masses. So what do we know about an atom? We know that an atom has got in its nucleus some neutrons and some protons, and they are quite big. In fact, they're about 2,000 times bigger than the electron. So because of that, we know that the proton has a larger mass than the electron. So let's look for that first. So it's compared to the charge and mass the proton electron has. It has a smaller mass, much smaller. So do you agree that that is an option and that is an option? So we can immediately cross out B and D. Now, what's also important is that in order to have a neutral atom, the number of protons has to equal the number of electrons, which means they have to have the same charge, but in the opposite size, I mean the same size charge, but it's going to be opposite, okay? So in other words, if this is plus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, the, char the charge on electron is minus 1.6 times by 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, and this is plus 1.6 times by 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Okay, so therefore the correct answer is A, no, sorry, is C, because it has an opposite charge and it has a much smaller mass. All right, next question. What is the mass number of an atom which contains 28 protons, 28 electrons, and 34 neutrons? The mass number. So what is the mass number made up of? The mass number is the total mass of the, sorry, what is the mass number of an atom? And mass number, mass number represents the total mass. And the mass of an, of an atom comes from the protons plus the neutrons. Because as we saw in the previous question, they are the same size. So we can go, well, it's 28 plus 34, which is going to be 62. And there you go, there's your answer, 62. Right, let's move on. If Rutherford used neutrons instead of alpha particles in his scattering experiment, the neutrons would do what? Well, we know that neutrons have got no charge, okay? So let's have a look at this. Um, would they have been attracted to the nucleus easily? No. What was special about Rutherford's experiment was that because he used alpha particles, the particles were actually deflected because of the way the electrons were spaced out and the protons were spaced out of the nucleus. Well, it was basically because of the fact that there was huge space in the atom, so the alpha particles get through, but the fact that there were tons of protons in the nucleus meant that they would be deflected, okay? So, if you have a neutron, is it going to be deflected? No. So therefore, it's not going to be deflected because it has no charge. Right, moving on. Final question. It says 0.2% of the oxygen atoms found in nature are the isotope 1808. Okay. In other words, they've got 18 protons and neutrons and only 8 protons. It says match the statement with column 1 with the information in column 2. To answer, write down the note. Okay. So we need to match column 1 with column 2. So, let's have a look at, it says, the atomic number, we're talking about atomic number, mass number, nucleons, isotopes, number of nucleons, and number of neutrons. Okay, so let's start with the atomic number. The atomic number is basically the number of protons found in the nucleus. That is just a definition you should know. So that is 1D, okay, so we can cross it out. Okay, now it says the mass number. The mass number is the number of protons and neutrons because that's what makes up the total mass of the atom. So that's going to be A, and then we can cross that out. Then it says the collective name given to particles found in the nucleus is going to be the nucleons. We agree, so that is B. Okay. And let's see what else it says. Now, Options are isotopes, number, number. So obviously this, if you've got these right, has to be C, but let's see. Atoms of an element that consist of the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. Yes, that is an isotope. Great, so that's correct, is C. Now it says we've got the number of nucleons and the number of neutrons. 
This here is the mass number and it tells you the number of protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons are the nucleons, so therefore this is actually correct. It is, sorry, no, it's not. That is F because it is the number of nucleons. And finally, the number of neutrons. Well, if 18 is the number of neutrons and protons and 8 is the number of protons, then obviously 18 minus 8 equals 10. So the number of neutrons is going to be 10. So the correct answer there is E. And again, at grade 10s, most of this is study work, so you really, really need to go and study the section. But if you're not understanding, go watch the videos in the section. Have a great day.